we are in Kent. We're in Kent, aren't we? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, Ten. we are. We're in Seven Oaks. We've come to Knoll Park to test out the 100 to 400, the 70 to 200, with and without the TC 1.4, and we got our hands on a TC 2. You've asked, and hopefully we will deliver. We're going to try. We've got some deer behind us. We've got some birds in the trees. We're going to do a bit of everything. Absolutely. Let's go and find out. This way. <laughs> or that way. <laughs> Do you want to walk through the stinging nettles or round the stinging nettles? All right. We are looking for a vantage point. And I think behind that log. It's a great log. Yeah. I'll take it home. <laughs> I sure. think this is a good vantage point. I think so, because we can also then balance the lenses a little bit and we're a bit closer to the action, aren't we? Okay, let's slap a two times silicon converter and 7200. So that should give us 400 mil on a longer end and it will stop it down by two stops. So instead of 2.8, we'll get 5.6. So silicon converter on the lens first. And then, oh, look, the shots cover. So we're gonna touch it to the camera. So no dust inside. Mm -hmm. And we've got 400 mil. Test one, 7200 with two times the converter. So it's 400 at 5.6 versus 100 to 400 at 5.6. And you know what? The face recognition works for animals and it's even switching to the eye. Wow. The okay. Well, I obviously don't have that because I've got a Z6, but... But you know, the interesting thing is that because they're flapping their ears, sometimes switches to the head, sometimes switches to the eye. What are your settings? Uh, so at the moment I'm a thousandth, 5.6, ISO 640. Obviously, one of the things I'm going to struggle with is not struggle, that's the wrong word, but you've got double the resolution. Yeah, I, I knew exactly what you're gonna say. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you could crop in way more. What are your thoughts so far? I like it. I mean, okay. Obviously I'm zoomed in at 400 most of the time. Yeah. And I always find that I'm a bit too far. So I have to really kind of crawl quietly to get into the position. So if you use 400 mil, just from the convenience factor, 100 to 400, I assume is going to be better because then you can add teleconverter on it. So that's the beauty of it. But for some people who just need 7200 for maybe portrait work or indoor sports, then instead of splashing out another 2,000 pounds for 100 to 400 lens, you can just buy 500 pound teleconverter and get that reach for this occasional bit. So if you should often get 100 to 400, if you should randomly and occasionally they get a teleconverter, I think. Image quality, I don't know, on the screen it looks beautiful. they know that I'm about to take their photo because they look up, I move my lens, and then they look away at that exact moment. It's so frustrating. Uh, Becky, you're not David Attenborough, are you? No. I never proclaimed to be, just... Because <laughs> I always called you Becky Attenborough. Becky you know Attenborough. That. I can tell you different species, but apparently the deer don't want to look at me. That's all it is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> One thing I, I am enjoying with this lens is the amount of range that I have. I can go from, you know, 100, which will get in the entire herd that's in front of me, small herd or group, 
to 400 where I've got a close up of, you know, from kind of neck up, which is, which is nice. Be a very useful lens for safaris. Now we are going to swap. So I'm going to put the 70 to 200 with the two times converter on my Z6. I'm going to give Con the 100 to 400 for the Z9 so that we have a fairly even comparison of both setups. A lot of you asking us about all focus performance of certain lenses on Z9 as well as Z6, Z7 type cameras. So we're going to try and just kind of uh, make our own opinion about that. Exactly. Okay, back. So you tried 7200 with T time cellular converter on Z6. What are your impressions so far? Uh, it is a little bit slower to focus than the 100 to 400. That's because of the teleconverter, because without the TC, the 70 to 200 is actually faster than the 100 to 400. But with the TC, it struggled in a couple of situations. That is mostly down to the teleconverter and obviously the fact that I'm using a Z6, I'm not using yeah. a, a newer camera. Okay, and what AF settings do you use? Uh, so I'm using AFC with the small area AF, which mm. means I can put the whole square over a deer's face and I know that that's, that's gonna hit the spot. I see, I've got Z9, so I'm pushing AF system to its full limits really, because I'm using a full AF area, any more recognition, all I have to do is press AF on button and just keep taking the pictures really. Magic. And how have you found the 100 to 400 on it? Okay, for still subjects like deer, mm. I think the difference in terms of what's focusing speed is minimal because yeah. 7200 with 2 times 7 converter focuses almost as fast as 100 to 400. What I think is going to happen is once we start to shoot birds in the flight, so moving subjects, that's where we'll <laughs> notice, or some flies, that's where we'll notice the difference. Yeah. So, but for any type of portrait type of shot, still subjects, I think they'll perform quite well. Next up, we are going to put the teleconverters onto the 100 to 400. And as a little bonus for you, I'm also going to put the 1.4 on the 70 to 200. Although I have done this before at the Big Cat Sanctuary. Obviously with 70 to 200, you can't go further than 400 with a teleconverter. But if you want to shoot 400 plus, then you get 100 to 400 and then you buy either 1.4 or 2 times teleconverter. So that's what we're going to try out now. And they're sitting very comfortably here. It's great. <laughs> A willing model. Well, you know, with 1.4, I'm a little bit too close. I have to zoom out a little bit. And then the challenge that the AF system has, because that grass stalks right in front of him, it picks up the grass first. So I have to actually focus on his horn. And once it locks his horn, it then refocuses on his face and his eye. <laughs> Did I mention the shutter cover? <laughs> I have to say, I'm very jealous of that. We've tried both teleconverters on both lenses. I can tell you without a doubt that the 1.4 converter does not lose you image quality. Yeah. The two times you have a slight compromise, but to be honest, for most things, that's not, it's not a big enough compromise to be a problem. And having that extra reach, particularly on the 70 to 200, is incredibly useful for stuff like this. That's true. This new Z2 times teleconverter, it's a lot, a lot better than an F-mount version. So 
Before we wouldn't recommend two times unless you really need the reach over image quality. Now we can say both one four and two times equally good. Of course, one four is sharper with a lower reach, but two times is much better than previous generation. That's right. Now, if you already own a 70 to 200, or as Con said before, that is one of your bread and butter lenses, then it makes sense to have at least one of the teleconverters with you. The two times is a really good option because with the 1.4, you've got 280 millimeter. Sometimes that's not really enough to make a difference and you could get there by cropping anyway. With the 100 to 400, how did you find the teleconverters? How did you find getting that really that extra reach? I mean, it's 800 mil on a budget. Yeah. I mean, 806.3 is no doubt a budget lens for that focal distance, but mm. you can get the same focal distance at what? About two and a half grand compared to pending six and a half? Yes, it's very true. And as long as you don't mind f11, and as long as you don't mind to shoot at very fast shot speed, so normally they say three, four times the focal length. So if you say four times, they're going to be 3,600 of a second. At f11, your ISO is going to shoot up. So keep that in mind. So generally, it's always a fine, fine balance. We're going to do a quick in the field test of a static subject with the 100 to 400 on the Z9, and then the 70 to 200 with the two times converter, both at 400 both wide open and then at f11. We're gonna show you the results. So now I have the 70 to 200 with two times converter and weirdly it picked up that guy walking instead of the tree, <laughs> even though he wasn't even looking at the camera. Okay. Based on those quick tests, we can clearly see that the 100 to 400 is just that little bit sharper than the 70 to 200 with the two times teleconverter. It may be splitting hairs, but actually, this is what people really want to know, isn't it? Absolutely. What you need to decide is what focal distance you shoot your images the most. And if it's 400, get the 100 to 400 lens and then add teleconverter if you want to push further. But if you do mostly, let's say, sports and doors, a bit of portraiture, which is 7200 at 2.8, is beautiful at, especially at the very shallow depth field at 200 mil, 2.8, then get this two times to the converter will give this extra reach for occasional type of shooting. This is not the answer. This is on the budget, of course. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. It would be hugely appreciated and it helps us grow our channel. And if you found this video useful, there's also super thanks button. You know what? You better watch this video. It's gonna steal our bags. I'm gonna go quickly get it. <laughs> <laughs>